Hello, welcome back to the creepy today. I have made something on my server that I need to share with you guys, and we need we need some iron to activate this machine. And this machine anyone can use, and it is on the factions Skyblock SMP1 and SMP2 servers, so all the regular survival based games. SMP2 is a bit of a special survival. SMP1 Skyblock and Factions. And as you can see there's a ladder here. I will be adding more games in the future, but next episode I'll be talking about survival games. So, let's start with SMP2. <coughs> and you can see right out here there is this giant machine here and I will cover up those chests so you cannot get to them as a player but if I just show you there are some special prizes like on this piece of paper you can't see it but you can get any kit off of my server store for five dollars or this one set this one also says five um this one says twenty that one says ten five two and then nothing is in that one so all you need to do is throw iron into this hopper here and you can see that the lights will either flash on or not flash on at all you need all of the lights to turn on to get a prize. So, you need to mine iron in order to use this machine. And, yeah, I'm just going to show you me winning once. Because after you see me win, you're going to know how it works. But, yeah. And I know you can't see the lights, but I keep on only getting one light to turn on. Oh, now two. Two again. Two again. Two again. Oh, three, so as you can see stuff came out of the drop is over here so this time I got a diamond sword a regeneration arrow and a magma block so I'm going to be doing dash hub and you can see if I so that was SMP2 it's also on SMP1 SMP1 is like a castle themed. I think you have to go this way. Uh, I don't really remember actually. I am going to just, um, yep, it's right down here. So you just gotta jump into the water and swim. You, the, the machine is right here as well. So if you just exit the castle, not by the giant lava, well, it is by the giant lava, but yeah. It's right there too. Same prizes. It is just copy and pasted using World Edit. So if I do dash hub now, I can show you the last two servers that it's on. It's on Skyblock. So if you turn around at spawn, the machine will be encased in glass over here. And same thing again. It's just throw them down, throw the iron down and then sometimes you don't get any and there's an interesting reset mechanism that I made which is very useful for redstone contraptions that are used in servers like this See, so this is just completely luck. So I just got three again, and you can see 
instantly these came out. So you, so I'm going to show you the redstone really quickly and go to the last section. So the redstone is a little bit complicated, but it looks pretty easy. How it works is complicated. It dispenses an item, either an item that gives out a signal strength of 16, or a signal strength of 1, depending on which one it gives out, it would depend how far the redstone travels. If it only gives out 1, it only travels 1 block forward, which if you get so unlucky and just get it to travel 1 block forward on all of them, it will not turn on a redstone lamp. Now, if all of them get to 2, the redstone torches will all turn off at activating this torch here, but it will, like, two seconds later, turn these torches back on. So it will dispense items through here, and then really quickly, this sticky piston here will extend to make this rapid clock, and this rapid clock will dispense items. So if I leave this rapid clock on for a little bit longer, you can see items actually flow through, which actually automatically resets. So you can see all the items actually got picked up by the hoppers. So I'll be showing you how to make that reset mechanism later, which is really, really cool. I'll be talking more about this machine in a future episode, hopefully. But yeah, I'm just gonna put a, another glass wall all the way up to here on all these servers. So, you do have the nine islands, I think. Um, no, there's only six islands. So, this skyblock is a little bit different. All you have to do is click on a island and you will get stuff in the starter chest here. And, yes, if I go into spectator mode, you can see, well, you can't really see, but there is iron around here, so you are able to go back to spawn doing dash hub and then go back up to there using the iron that you got here on any survival world and then you can go up there and use the iron there and the last place so I showed you SMP2 SMP1 Skyblock and now the last server it's on its factions those are the only servers I think it will be on because the other servers don't really make much sense to have it on and as you can see it's right here so, yeah, that time I just died because I didn't jump into the water. Um, so going into factions again, because I didn't land in the water. So let's land inside the water and then collect my iron once again. First person on this server. Uh-oh. You are actually unable to get to this area, so I'm going to, um, I'm just going to fly up here right now, but I will do, I am going to make a little staircase over here, so you can actually go up and enjoy this side and I'm going to turn that off so now I can't break blocks here which I am not allowed to when I'm playing factions which I probably will continue. I actually made two episodes of factions already. <sighs> Time set day and once again this machine works the exact same way. All you have to do is throw iron in here and if you get all three lights to turn on you will win a prize. And it's completely ra random, like I said, so I got a prize that time. Which, unfortunately, I wasn't too lucky with the prize. I got a creeper head and two apples. But you could get very lucky. Like, you can see this beacons, diamond swords, enchanted golden apples, 
diamonds, keys, obsidian, more keys, free, free kits on my server store, basically more ways to get items. So yeah, you can actually see this machine is in the safe zone if I fly over here. This is now the war zone, but if I fly back over here, this where you actually play the game is in the safe zone? Is that what it's called? Yep. So, no PvP is allowed, so that means you are safe to play this game. Oh, I'm gonna... One more. Oh, come on. Right, so, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will be back with more. Bye! Oh.